John, my show's called International Man of Leather. <laughs> yes. Now, I do have to warn you legally, it does contain adult themes. Kinky sex. Which I appreciate can be a challenge for some audiences. I have noticed on my travels, Britain is still the only country in the world where you must always have an odd number of people at an orgy, so there's somebody spare to make tea. <laughs> Sadly, that's not a joke, that's just true. <laughs> now, um, coincidentally, I like my men like I like my tea. Builders, mostly. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> Totty on the front row, they got my rider. Quite literally, I'm going to be ridden. Now, um, if you go to the toilet, my set is done. Now, uh, I, I just want you to know, I've tried very hard to make sure the show's not offensive, including performing it to an audience of 400 women. Yes. I ask for feedback. Any joke you don't like, I'll drop from the show. The only comment I had, if you wish to be less offensive to lesbians, you've got to stop dressing like one on stage. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Now, there was no sense that I'd be into this because of my upbringing. Uh, I had a very uh, conservative upbringing. I was raised Baptist, oh my God, who believe in abstinence, which is not a really fun kind of alcohol. No. I wish it's not doing it at all. They had some very fun ways to get us not to do it. One week, the minister came to the youth group to teach us about sex, Baptist style. <laughs> A lot less interesting than Gangnam style. It was just one sentence, just one. He told us if you don't have a particular body part yourself, you are not allowed to touch it on other people. <laughs> Bad news for all the other kids worked out very well for me. <laughs> They've not thought that through. <laughs> Now in my twenties, my whole life changed till I discovered a leather club in South London called The Hoist. Woof. And uh, to get in, you have to be a man wearing leather, rubber, industrial or uniform. By uniform, they wanted something army, something navy, not lollipop lady. Or Thunderbirds pilot. Oh God, have I lost you on Thunderbirds? Am I that old? For my generation, Thunderbirds was a harrowing documentary series about a family of fighter pilots living with Parkinson's. <laughs> if you can cope with that, you're going to enjoy the show. It's called International Man of Leather. I'm doing it once in Manchester, Bandit, Mugger and Thief on Sat Yay! Saturday 2nd of July and then the entire month of August at The Stand up in Edinburgh, The Stand 4, quarter to five in the afternoon. You've been lovely. Thank you very much.